Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy Shadow. Once again, um, I call this a two for one. Every time I drop a video, um, two videos in one day, I call it a two for one. Basically, what I got going on for you right now, first and foremost, I want y'all to hit the like button, okay? So hit the like, make sure you like in my videos, make sure you comment in on the videos, make sure you subscribe to the videos, make sure you share the video, and most importantly, make sure you are leaving comments, leave some comments. Let me know what you want to do next. Um, I've been getting a lot of great feedback from my video, so I'm going to keep it up. Um, so today, uh, what I'm going to do is embroider a design. Okay, I have the Brother SE425, and I have my logo that I want to put on this hoodie, but I can't see right now, so I need to find my glasses right quick. I can't see a thing. Hold on, y'all. This is crazy. I can't see the goddamn thing. Hold on. I don't know where I put my glasses. All right, here we go. I'm back. I'm back, y'all. All right, so back again. All right, so um, first and foremost, it took me a long time to figure out how to stabilize, um, you know what I'm saying? How to stabilize my garments properly. So what I end up doing, um, I found it's, it's, it's very thick. The stabilizer that I use now, and I use it for everything. Um, I don't know if I can, if you guys can see it. But it's called Pelon or something. Pelon 809 Decor Bun. I got this from Joanne's Fabrics. If I can find it on Amazon, I will definitely leave a link in the bio. But yeah, it's nice and thick. Nice and thick. It's not thin. And the other stuff was too thin for me. So the more and more I embroider, the more and more I'm just going to, you know, keep learning. I need to take a class, but the way my schedule works... I ain't got no time for a class of anything. All right, so, um, yeah, so I heat pressed this onto my hoodie. This is a Jess Hoods um, hoodie, by the way. So now what I'm going to do is stabilize it. Um, so I'm just going to line it up. Right now I'm eyeballing. This is like my junk hoodie, but shit. Usually I just eyeball it anyway. You know what I'm saying? So... I'm gonna just eyeball it, make sure it's nice and tight. Um, yeah, that look, that feel good right there. Yep, but nice and good right there. Yeah, as you know, this is you know with embroidery, it's a lot of trial and error. Um, just when you think you got it, you press a button, and sure enough, it fucks up. So let me put a little muscle behind it. Oh, okay, there we go. All right. Yeah, it's almost on there. Fuck, uh, can't get this thing on there. I gotta, let me loosen it up a little bit. Great. This thing is not working like I want it to. All right. And this is gonna be an interesting video because not only am I going to embroider, I am going to upload the design into my embroidery machine. So if you do have this machine, you know, um, you're going to be learning how to do two things. So subscribe to the channel. <laughs> All right. So cool. Okay. So here we go. And I'm still struggling. It's kind of hard to do this with just. Uh... There we go. It's on there. All right, so we got it on there. So now what I'm gonna do is just tighten it up. You know, go to the bottom, screw this joint on there a little tighter so that it don't come off. Of course, righty tighty, left, lefty loosey. There we go. And I don't know if you can hear it. As long as it's tight, you know, and as long as that um the backing is on it, we're good. So what I'm gonna do is uh, bring my machine a look closer. Hopefully it's in the view of the camera. Yeah, that look like the camera right there. All right, so I'm gonna feed this in here. All right. Okay, let me, let me see, I got a little error message here. 
that's the error message right there. All right. So um, yeah, we gonna press that. Okay. I hope you guys can see the screen. Hope you guys can see it. All right. Thumbs up if you can see the screen. Two thumbs up if you see the screen. <laughs> Get another YouTube channel. Come back to my channel and just give me a thumbs up. <laughs> All right, cool. Okay, okay, that's on there. All right, everything's on there. Nice and sturdy, nice and sturdy. All right, so now, okay, so now that that's on there, that's done. My bobbin is um, wound. It's a lot of bobbin thread in there. Uh, what I'm gonna do is grab my laptop and upload the design so once you upload the design I, I hope you can see it it look like some wires like a little usb dongle so you click on that boop all right so now it's waiting it's waiting on you to um connect your computer to um it's waiting on your computer to get connected so once your computer get connected and all that good stuff you uh what you do is um you know, you go to your your sewing machine, you double tap your sewing machine, and yeah, double tap your sewing machine on the computer. I gotta find my picture. I didn't, I, see, I ain't got nothing ready for you. <laughs> this is all freestyle. All right, so, hey, thumbs up if you like my freestyle videos. Um, Thumbs up if you want me to have a better script. I was thinking about making a script for it. I don't know. I don't know yet. But I kind of like freestyling it. You know what I'm saying? Just a just a, just a raw cut, raw edit, no edit at all. So I got all right. So I got my design. I don't know if you can see it. Um, got everything on there. Um, I'm gonna drag and drop this on there. All right, I'm gonna drag and drop, drag and drop. Ooh, boing. All right, so now you see it says transmitting, and then you click on it. Um, you hit this little, this little pocket joint. It looked like some underwear, and then um, you hit this button right here. It looked like another pocket. So you gotta put it in the pocket, you know. So press on that button, shking. Then it says please wait saving um hopefully i got enough space fingers crossed all right cool yeah so save all right so we go back it's going to say is it okay to delete the selected pattern you're going to click okay all right just hit okay that's a stupid prompt i don't know why they got that it's, uh, it's stupid it makes you think like it's deleting it from the file but it's not it took me a while to realize that and it's stupid come on brother Alright. Okay. So now that we got that done, uh, what are we gonna do? I think the first color is gonna be black. We're gonna click on the um the pocket up. Look like an upload. Um keep scrolling until we get to the design. Okay. Alright, and that go to design right there. Um then we hit the upload pocket again. Alright, so this one is, is telling me it went red. So, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it red, red. All right, so I'm going to take this black out. I got the black loaded up at the top. Um, loading this machine is a breeze. Um, it's pretty cool. You know, it's very simple. What I'm going to do is just... Um, you know, load it up, load it up right quick. All right, make sure it's not tangled up so it, so it doesn't jam. And trust me, this if you got, you know, if you're doing one thing wrong, it will jam. Trust me. But then again, I am a rookie, so. <laughs> I am a rookie. But yeah, this is my therapy. I love to 
do t-shirts and embroidery. This is like my stress relief. Um, you always gotta have your stress relief. You can't hold on to the stresses of the past. You know what I mean? Cause that'll kind of get you all screwed up in the future. You gotta value your presence. Cause your presence is a present. Woo, y'all gotta give me a thumbs up for that one. <laughs> all right, so, all right, so now we got that loaded. I'm gonna drop this old joint down, clank, clank. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. And it's gonna start stitching. Once I, as soon as I hit the screen button. All right, so I hope everything is good. I don't know, this joint look kind of crazy. All right, there is shit, it's working. I gotta keep my eye on this because this look kind of, it look kind of weird. I ain't gonna lie to you. It just look kind of crazy, for real. All right. Like I don't know what the fuck that is. Hold on, let's, let's stop this joint. I don't know what the. What is that? Hold on, let's find out what this this is. Hold on. Oh, that ain't nothing. Why is that like that though? That's kind of crazy. Is that everywhere? What the fuck? Oh, that's that's that shit ain't supposed to be there. Yeah, hey, get the fuck out of here. The string. See, I told you it's always something. It's always something. The string. This was right underneath it. So yeah, make sure you double checking. Make sure that surface is smooth because little stupid shit could get in there. All right, so we gonna press that button again. Yeah, that's, that was stupid. But that's the joy. All right, so apparently I cut the video off. I ain't even know that I cut it off. So if this is a, if, if the editing, I, I had to cut it, I had to edit it. Sorry, y'all. I tried to go through this whole video unedited, but um, but yeah, if it looked crazy, that string messed up my mojo. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, it's still going. It's looking pretty good. So we going um, cause this this jump is um, I'm gonna just take it off the, I'm gonna take it off this tripod, cause the tripod is really really screwing me. Yeah, the tripod is screwing me. Feel free to kind of um, skip past this part because I'm just gonna be rambling. This is gonna be talking. I ain't talking about too much or nothing. But yeah, this is this is the part where you just you just cut, right? Do, 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 do. Give me a thumbs up and. Subscribe to my channel. Do, 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 do. Once I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna I'm really let my, my, um, my video ed editing skills or lack of <laughs> skills uh, kick in. I'm gonna put some fancy effects and all types of stuff. On my stuff, like I used to do, but uh, yeah, this shit gonna take a hot minute. I'm, I'm gonna just cut this joint short for real, and then um, I might just edit this one too. Cause this, look at this, this is gonna fill in all of that. So I might run out of bobbin. I just, I just, uh, I'm gonna cut this short and then just bring it in there. Cause that, that would not be fair on y'all. All right, peace. Subscribe. I'll be back. All right, along the way, this is what happened. I figured that this would happen. The bobbin thread is running out. So what I'm gonna do is basically put some more bobbin thread in there. Um, give me a thumbs up or comment if you wanna see how I load my bobbin thread in there. Uh, but basically, it's pretty much you just get your, imp your bobbin thread. Let's see if I can do this right quick. <sighs> All right, so you get this, you take that out. Yeah, take it out. It's coming out pretty good. 
coming out pretty good. Um, the only thing is, is just, you see how that is like that? Yeah, buddy, is that it's tight. I don't know why it's doing that. So if you guys know why it's doing that, um, leave a comment. Um, I'm going to tell my digitizer to kind of fix that issue if he can. I don't know what's up with that. But, um, yeah, whatever. That's neither here nor there. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I actually bought some... Um, I actually bought a the software so i can do this myself but you see the bobbin thread is almost out is down to its last dental flaws pretty much so um i'm going to holler at you when everything is up when everything is running again peace yo 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 back again this is the final video um so everything just finished stitching out <clears throat> uh pretty much what happened is all right, so this is my first time uh, stitching out this new design. I had a little hiccup right here uh, where the, it was like where the bobbin thread was overlapping. But I realized what happened was, um, you know, when I was adjusting, I stuck the needle to catch onto the bobbin thread. And I stuck it, it's, it's, it's wild. But that's an easy fix. I know how to fix that. <laughs> um, this seems like a digitizing issue right here. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell my digit, the guy that digitizes for me to kind of clean it up a little bit. It's not too bad, but you know, it's a little off. The stars are off. And, uh, this, hmm, I, I'm thinking this is a digitizer error too, because these first two stars, the thread broke off in the... It looked like it kind of broke off a little bit because it was maybe it's too dense. I'm not sure, but I'm going to talk to my digitizer on that. Um, but overall, I would give it, mm, I'd say about a five and a half out of ten. This ain't a hundred percent, but it is progress. And this is some of the results you can get with the um, SE425. Uh, for the most part, it's, it's all, it is all all about your digitization that's all it's about um i'm learning digitization i don't have a lot of time in regards to you know practicing on that software but i have the um i have the software only thing i have to do is practice a little bit um but it's also good you know you can save thousands of dollars um if you can just find a good digitizer because, yeah, I mean, this is nice. I ain't gonna lie. He's a good digitizer. I only paid like $10, you know, for the design. So, you know, <coughs> it took a while to get here. But, hey, I'm glad that it's stitched out. <coughs> so, this is major progress in a year that I had this machine. So, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Like, comment, and subscribe. More videos that you like to see. I still got my vinyl cutter back there. My printer for my... Um, printer for my transfers, and as well as I got my dye. This is dye sublimation machine, so I know a lot of people want to kind of see what's going on with the dye sublimation. Maybe I'll make a couple dye sublimation videos. All right, peace. Yo, 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 back again. This is the final video. Um, so everything just finished stitching out. <clears throat> Uh, pretty much what happened is, all right, so this is my first time uh, stitching out this new design. I had a little hiccup right here uh, where the, it was like where the bobbin thread was overlapping. But I realized what happened was, um, you know, when I was adjusting, I stuck the needle to catch onto the bobbin thread. And I stuck it, it's, it's, it's wow. But that's an easy fix. I know how to fix that. <coughs> um, this seems like a digitizing issue right here. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell my digit, the guy that digitizes for me to kind of clean it up a little bit. It's not too bad, but, you know, it's a little off. The stars are off. And uh, this, hmm, I, I'm thinking this is a digitizer error too. Because these first two stars, the thread broke off in the 
looked like it kind of broke off a little bit because it was maybe it's too dense. I'm not sure, but I'm going to talk to my digitizer on that. Um, but overall, I would give it, mm, I'd say about a five and a half out of 10. This ain't a hundred percent, but it is progress. And this is some of the results you can get with the um, SE425. Uh, for the most part, it's, it's all, it is all about your digitization. That's all it's about. Um, I'm learning digitization. I don't have a lot of time in regards to, you know, practicing on that software. But I have the, um, I have the software. The only thing I have to do is practice a little bit. Um, but it's also good. You know, you can save thousands of dollars um, if you can just find a good digitizer. Because, yeah, I mean, this is nice. I ain't gonna lie. He's a good digitizer. I only paid like $10, you know, for the design. So, you know, <coughs> it took a while to get here. But, hey, I'm glad that it's stitched out. <coughs> so this is major progress in a year that I had this machine. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Like, comment, and subscribe. More videos that you like to see. I still got my vinyl cutter back there. My printer for my... Um, printer for my transfers and as well as I got my die, this is die sublimation machine so I know a lot of people want to kind of see what's going on with the die sublimation maybe I'll make a couple die sublimation videos alright peace